Ready? All right, everybody, here we go. All right. So this is the presentation on the death of Klinghofer and why it's being protested. The death of Klinghofer is an opera, and it's being protested around the New York area. And I'm going to use it a little example here. I'm going to say that this is the protesters, and no matter how hard we try to keep them down, <laughs> they're always going to come back up. And I'm going to try to give a little bit of both sides here. Uh, the story of the opera is, this is John Adams, the composer of the opera. Uh, he composed the opera in 1991, uh, about six years after this happened. This is the hijacking of the Achille Lauro uh, cruise ship. By, it was hijacked by Palestinian, the, specifically the, uh, the Palestinian front. Um, in 1985. Um, the reason why it's kind of controversial is this man, uh, Leon Klinghofer, was a 69-year-old Jewish-American handicapped disabled man in a wheelchair. And he wasn't really just kind of, oh, we're going to shoot if we don't get what we want. It was more of like an execution kind of thing, like a murder. So that's why it's a little bit more like kind of a touchy topic. Uh, but why it's being protested is the inspiration for the opera itself. Uh, he kind of wrote it in a way of trying to prove that even though these people committed these horrible things, that they're still human and that they're just like all of us. And they have reasons and they have inspiration for doing these kinds of things. And I'm going to show you a video of what John Adams has to say. Uh, I... <laughs> the death of Klinghoff has been around now for 23 years. Every time it's produced, uh, there's, there's controversy. Uh, I didn't compose the opera to court controversy. In fact, I, I was a bit appalled at, at how uh, hot some of the response was. And there have been people, um, including you know, many esteemed writers and music critics who have um, said that this opera should never be performed because it's, it's too sensitive. Our opera tries to look at the terrorists and the passengers and see humanity in both of them. And for some people, that's an egregious mistake. I don't feel it is. I feel that for all of the brutality and the moral wrong that they perpetrated in killing this man, they're still human beings, and there still has to be reasons why they did this act. I think what Alice Goodman and I... That's it. So now we're going to talk about the protesting that kind of goes on. Uh, this is a picture from Ferguson. It's nothing like this. Uh, it's kind of more like what's on the, on the left side for you guys, or the right side, I'm sorry. I'm going to talk about the picture on the top for real quick. Uh, this is, was a protesting that happened on the first day of the new opera back in October of 2014. Uh, in the front there, you have one side of the street, there's 100 people in wheelchairs saying, they have signs that say, I am Leon Klinghofer. And on the other side of the street, there's just a bunch of people with signs that say something along the lines of uh, Klinghofer Opera, Propaganda Masquerading as Art, and Klinghofer Executed by PLO Terrorists. So this, this is kind of a hot topic. Uh, this is, well, it's from the former New York City Mayor, Rudy. Uh, he was at the, the protest that day, and he'd been an opera fan for 57 years, that he said. And he described the art as factually inaccurate and extraordinarily damaging. And this is a quote that he had. He actually kind of gave like a little speech. This is a part of it. He said, as one who had a, uh, a, a uh, association as a United States attorney to investigate Yasar Fra, which was kind of like a leader of the Palestinian, uh, I can say with certainty 
that this murder was a pure act of terror of which there was no justifiable grief. It was part of an overall campaign of numerous terrorist acts of which this was just one intended to make a fraud and his organization big players on the world stage. So this is where uh, the family kind of comes into play. This was from Leon Klinghofer's daughters, Lisa and Ilsa. Uh, this was back in 1991 when the, when the opera was kind of like first performed. It was kind of like a very big thing. And this was also at a time where Leon, Leon's wife died, which was their mother. And they both said, uh, we are outraged at the explanation of our parents and the cold-blooded murder of our father as the centerpiece of a production that appears to be, appears to us to be anti-Semitic. And this is kind of like the viewpoint of a lot of the, the, a lot of the protesters is that it's not okay. It says the completely wrong thing. But if you look at it from the artistic kind of more an opera fan kind of thing, uh, this is Alice Goodman. She's a liberist speaking through a publicity agent at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. And she says, anyone who attends this opera with an unprejudiced mind will perceive that it does honor to the destiny of the Jewish people and the memory of Leon and Marilyn Klinghofer. So this is kind of my question. Should this be allowed to be performed again? Or should it be seen just based on what John Adams kind of inspired it from? 